Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with a full case break of the brand new, just came out yesterday, 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. 12 box, pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So on Thursday 19th, thanks for joining us, folks. Stavros with the Giants, last spot mojo, and there's everybody else. Thank you, everyone. We've got more in the store. We've got plenty of Donruss Optic. So keep it going on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got plenty of Allen & Ginter baseball just came out. Encased basketball has been moving. Spectra basketball just came out. we got Ultimate Collection Hockey. Got all sorts of things, boys and girls. So go to jazbeeshobbyland.com because after this break is over in about an hour, uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. Because nothing else is filled up. So the world is your oyster, boys and girls. We can go in any direction you would like. So just get your orders in. All right, so there's all the 12 boxes right there. Okay, good luck, everyone. There you go. X line's in the house. What up, Josh? Now, TJ's here, too. TJ, you were, you were mentioning earlier that Francisco Mejia of the Indians was traded. That is a little surprising. I, di I did look that up after you mentioned it. It looks like Mejia was traded for uh, for Brad Hand, it looks like, from the Padres. Was uh, Who else was in that deal? Or was it just a one-for-one? One? Well, the that's a great move by the... Um, by the Indians, I think. They needed the... I think Mejia could have played this year, but I think wasn't quite ready. And I think Brad Hand is the reliever that is the bullpen, you know, arm that the Indians need. As a Dodgers fan, I would have loved to have Brad Hand, but there was no way the Padres were going to trade within the within the division. But a great move by the Indians. It's interesting that they, they did let go of Mejia. Paul Nixon, what's going on? He said uh, another submarine right-handed reliever, says Paul. Um, Indians guy. Uh, Mejia actually has like a weird, there's like a weird lawsuit, some legal issue that he's in, that he's in. I don't think that had anything to do with it, but but there is a curious legal issue that he's embroiled in. Something to do with some sort of loan or something like that. Oh, yeah, I will, Chris. Good call. Now, everyone's been saying that these two bottom boxes on the right side are the autograph hot boxes. Now, it, that was the case yesterday. Let's see if that's the case today. So we'll mark them like that, right over hot. All right. Good luck, everyone. Box number one, two parallel hot boxes and two autograph hot boxes, possibly right here. Good luck. There's Mountain Marvels, Max Scherzer, Shohei Otani, and our first autograph is Eric Fetty. For the Washington Nationals. That'll go to Christian Williams. There you go, Christian. Got a nice Otani right here, too. Rated rookie. We'll pull it. We'll pull this autograph out of the first box of Optic we did yesterday, which was crazy. First box, first break. That goes to the Angels, of course. That'll be for Jeremy Tillman. And we'll top load these before they get sent out. That's for the Nationals as well. Obviously, stuff like this vet base will not ship, but this refractor will ship. And all the inserts, of course, will ship as well. Obviously, stuff like that will ship. We'll save some of these Otanis, too. And there's Kershaw at a 299. Getting a little help behind him, Manny Machado. 
which I'm very excited about. Even Justin Turner's excited. There is Clint Frazier, rated rookie autograph. This is a Clint Frazier is another Indian, I think. Another big prospect that the Indians traded a little while ago. He might get traded again. James Harper with the Yankees. There's Joey Votto. There we go. That that's true, TJ. Uh, there's there is not a lot in this that does not ship. Most of this will ship. There's not actually not too much. Um, there's not too much vet base in this. All right, so box one is good. So Dodgers could use a little shoring up of the bullpen. So we'll see what they do. I think I think their offense is pretty much. It's pretty much set with Machado in that lineup. I don't know where he's going to be positioned, but I think he'll be happy to play play anywhere for a contender. I think they could move. They could give Justin Turner, who's still working his, um, I think working his uh, way back from that, still kind of has a sore wrist. So I think Justin Turner can get a little more rest. He can play first base. Cody Bellinger can is athletic enough to play center field. Move him around when Corey Seager comes back. Well, if the Dodgers re-sign Manny Machado and Corey Seager comes back next year, they could move Seager to second base. So I think the Dodgers are in pretty good shape. And I'm sure, yeah, you're right, TJ. I think the Dodgers have one more deal to go. Bullpen help. They could use a little little strengthening in that middle relief. I guess any t every team could, but they got they got to find a good option there. TJ says Machado will be at short next year. I'm okay with that. Well, listen, Justin Turner's contract is only two, two or three more years. He's not getting any younger, Justin. I love Justin Turner, but he's not getting any younger. You know, so there could be some third base shortstop flexibility for Machado. Corey Seager coming off an elbow injury, so maybe you want to put less strain on that elbow, put him at second or something like that. I don't know. But there's options though. I like that player flexibility. So a lot of moves going on. Ladies and gentlemen, you tell me what your team is and what moves you think your team needs to make by the by the trading deadline in a couple weeks, which should be pretty exciting. I mean, do the big teams make moves? Red Sox? Yankees? Indians did. Dodgers did. Houston? Seattle? Philadelphia? Atlanta? Surprising seasons? Brewers? Do the Diamondbacks counter? There's Ozzie Albius. He's not going anywhere. That goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Braves, the Bravos. There's J.P. Crawford. And then we got Tyler Wade. Um, Christian, I don't remember if that Fetty auto... Well, is it near me? Yeah, it was. It's orange, so it's 42 out of 99. So Tyler Wade for James Harper and the Yankees. Um, TJ saying, I thought the Dodgers would have landed hand. I think they probably tried, but I'll bet the Padres were just like, there is no way we are sending him to... Um, to a rival. There's Kutch. Probably asked way too much. I like the Iglesias idea, Paul Nixon. There's Miggy and the motorcycle rider, dirt bike racer, Madison Bumgarner out of 299. Mount Marvel's Verlander out of 99. There's Vujugo in the back there. Iglesias, that could be an interesting thing. If the the Reds feel like they can get some a good return back from Iglesias. I don't know if he's still under team control or not. He must be for like another couple of years. Maybe the price tag's a little too high on that, but there you go. Gilo saying Mustakas and Whit Merrifield could pull in some decent prospects for the Royals. I feel like they would move 
Moustakis, right? But not Merrifield? Isn't he still under team control? See, that's a crazy thing. It's like there are a lot, a lot of guys who are potentially, you know, still under arbitration for a few more seasons. So if they're under team control, they're, they're a great bargain for a rebuilding team. So that kind of puts a wrinkle in some in some moves that may seem like a good idea but may not work just financially. Clemson Cards saying, or actually Jordan Hope, a little above Clemson Cards, are saying uh, Mariners need a pitcher as well. They could. A James Paxton injury is a little unfortunate. Braves, Viscaino to the Dodgers could be interesting. It's hard to kind of predict a middle relief trade because because there's just so many middle relievers out there. You don't know who's going to be available, how teams feel about it, what what they're worth in a trade prospect wise so kind of hard to kind of hard to tell but i think the dodgers have done a good job kind of finding diamonds in the rough you know they got brandon morrow last year kind of reconstructed him into the pitcher he is now but i'm not sure maybe this year they're maybe that machado deal is signaling hey we're gonna actually you know pull the trigger on some more established relief pitching talent as opposed to maybe claiming some guys off waivers here and there and seeing if, if they can reconstruct them as serviceable middle relievers. So. Gilo saying Merrifield under control for a while, but the Phillies and Brewers have been inquiring about him. Brewers could use that middle infield, right? That shortstop second base area they could use a little help on. They could use the starting pitching too. All right, next box. So a lot a lot going on. I think now that the All-Star break is over, there's a game tonight that I'm watching right now, and then we'll have a, a more complete full slate of games tomorrow. I think I'll have some picks for you guys tomorrow. My daily picks will be back tomorrow. There's Glaber Torres. Um, and then in a couple weeks will be the non-waiver trading deadline at the end of the month, which is always an exciting time. See if... See which teams are going to make some moves. I think it's actually going to be pretty active. There's Chip off the old block, Chipper Jones, out of 199. And the autograph is Felix Jorge for the Twins. Do the Twins do anything? Are they too far behind? Maybe they can challenge for a wild card spot. Karen Steele with the Twins. 24 out of 99. And then we've got Walker Bueller, rated rookie autograph. Nice. Walker Bueller, rated rookie autograph. That is strong. That's for Dodger Joe Mojo going to Ricky. Ricky with Dodger Joe Mojo. Nice. He might be maybe a bullpen guy, at least temporarily for this season. There's D. Gordon. Let's save one of those Otanis. I think that'll be it. And there's Francisco Lindor, two-time All-Star on that one. And obviously these will all be top-loaded before they go out. This goes to the Tribe. That'll be for Kip Kip Hooray. Kip with the Indians. Yeah, seems like a lot of Walker Bueller in this product. Not a bad thing. TC is asking, Joe, what website to use to keep up on who's hot from week to week in baseball? Rising Stars. Um, I, I actually recently subscribed to Baseball America, which is actually kind of – it's a fun publication to read for, uh, for prospects. And Fangraphs.com. Fangraphs.com is another great resource to, uh, to kind of scout out upcoming prospects and whatnot and then after that it's just i don't know i'm kind of a baseball would probably be my sort of favorite sport so i just naturally just just kind of keep up on it every day 
you know. So I I just naturally just I don't. It's not like I work. It's not like a a thing I have to work towards. You know what I mean? It's not a chore by any means. And uh, I like to, you know, as you know, I like for entertainment purposes only. I like to maybe put a penny or two on a baseball game here and there. So I, I keep up for those reasons as well. I just like discussing baseball, so. I think I naturally just go to a lot of resources, kind of look that stuff up. But Fangraphs, for prospects anyway, Fangraphs and Baseball America really is, yeah, it really is the way to go. And I think naturally I just like discussing... As you know, as everyone knows, the discussing like contract situations and and what teams have have what kind of payroll flexibility. So like, you know, kind of like fantasy GM type stuff. Joe Flores, come on, man! I'd love to see the Astros go for a Nate Jones or a Brandon Morrow. Well, I don't think the Cubs are going to give up Brandon Morrow. They just signed him. Certainly not to a potential, you know, World Series contender. But the Astros don't need help. There's Aaron Judge. Astros don't need help. Yeah, they could win it today with the roster that they have. And the Astros trying to be the Warriors. There's Javier Baez, red. Although I was going to say, there's Machado right there. I was going to say that that the Astros probably could improve because they've got they've got organizational depth. They got pieces they can move if they wanted to. So they can they they certainly have enough talent on that team to move some things around to continue to tinker and improve that team. There's the Mick, Mickey Mantle, and a an refractor, rated rookie refractor of Otani, pitching edition. And then there's just regular rated rookie Otani, um, hitting edition. There's Cody Bellinger. Oh, I thought that was going to be something. It's, I guess I'll sleeve it up. I don't know. Maybe maybe it is some sort of variation. So I was turned around. The Ben Benintendi for the Red Sox was at a 299. That's just a regular Otani. It's a nice refractor Otani. It's a little more, a little more especial. And there's the Mick. Right. I feel like Joe Flores. Everybody. I feel like all the contending teams need need to improve that middle relief. Right. Nice rated rookie auto, Rafael Devers. Nice one for the Red Sox. EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, the backwards cards are SPs or variations. Well, that's nice. Thanks, Panini. That's actually very helpful. So we'll send. We'll obviously send those out. Forty-one out of ninety-nine. Rafael Devers. There's Eddie Matthews for the Braves, and points. Points, folks. As you know by now, what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, if there's any other additional points cards that come out, we're going to randomize these as one lot. We used to split them up. Maybe like last summer, we used to split those up. But but then I realized that someone's going to end up with 150 points or something like that, and that doesn't help them. <laughs> um, but what does help is if they can collect like 600, 700, 800 points or something like that. Sometimes that happens in a break. I think people like that a little bit better. Oh, that takes the place of an autograph, though. All right, next box. Uh, do we have any Phillies fans here, Braves fans? There's, they certainly have had surprising seasons, right? I don't, I don't think the Braves or the Phillies expected, expected this for another year or two at least. So what do they do? I know Philly, Philadelphia was making a hard charge for Manny Machado, and they still might... They still might land him in free agency, but uh, what do they? What do they do? What kind of moves can they make? They got a lot, lot of young pieces. You know, do they just let it ride and enjoy the ride this season with the young development of the young players? Or do they make a move and try to go for it?
Braves need bullpen as well. Looks like everybody needs bullpen. Maybe that's why that's maybe that's why Brad Hand equals Francisco Mejia. That might set the tone for the market. And then we'll do the next box. I feel like I feel like nobody's happy with their bullpen. The Indians not happy with their bullpen. They got they address that issue. Dodgers still not happy with their bullpen. They got to address that issue. This might be a parallel hot box, ladies and gentlemen. One of two. Zach Granite out of one forty nine. We got Nicky Delmonico is the autograph for Brian Sawyer and the White Sox. There you go, Brian. On the board. Not numbered. We got Aaron Judge, Diamond Kings to 299. We got Mitch Garver. Kind of autographs kind of came out early here. Mitch Garver for the Twins. That'll go to Karen and the Twinkies. So there you go. Ooh, nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. out of 149. This is going to be the big name next year. Otani, big name this year. Vlad Guerrero, big name next year. Emily saying. Uh, Braves definitely need the bullpen. Maybe one more starter to replace the number five. There's Miguel Sano to 299. Slide this over a little bit here. We've got Odubel Herrera at a 99. There's Josh Bell at a 149. We'll save one of these Otanis too. We got Adrian Beltre at a 299. Jose Abreu for the White Sox at a 199. Josh Donaldson at a 299. Alex Verdugo at a 199. His path kind of blocked by the surplus of outfielders for the Dodgers. He might he might get moved by the deadline too. Stay tuned for that. He's one of the big Dodger prospects. Maybe. Uh, Dodgers front office don't like moving those guys. Greg Allen, Noah Syndergaard at a 199. Zach Cozart at a 199. Chris Archer at a 299. Uh, Michael Fulmer to 50. Nice. Steven Strasburg to 99. Miguel Cabrera, Diamond Kings to 149. The Aaron Judge is just a refractor. Buster Posey, Orange Parallel. For the Giants, out of 199. Jose Ramirez, All Stars, out of 199. And Goldie, Goldschmidt, 299. I think the Otani cards are considered rookie cards. I think they're all, they all say rated rookie or something like that. All right, so let me sleeve these up. A nice haul here. Clemson saying, I agree, because Soroka is out, and they go, up, go after Jay Happ. Remember when he used to go by J.A. Happ? J. Happ and Chris Archer. I don't think they're going to move Chris Archer because Chris Archer is... Um, he's, he's under such a great contract. But J. Happ will probably be moved. Patrick Goodwin, what's going on? You know what, Patrick... At this point, I think you're just trolling, so I'm not even going to entertain silly trade discussion like that. Um, is Ginter supposed to have two rip cards per case? I don't think the Ginter, um, those rip cards are guaranteed case hits. But I think Jay Happ definitely has the most chance of, uh, of getting moved. But Chris Archer, that contract is so good. <laughs> so I don't know if the Rays, unless they're just blown away, unless they get like some sort of godfather offer, I don't think they're going to do it. All right. Next one. I don't think rips are guaranteed, Patrick. Patrick. 
They traditionally have not been, um, I mean, you may commonly see them land, maybe one or two per case, but I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's actually like a thing that they guarantee though. I know, yeah, Patrick, enough with the, 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 the obviously trolling trade uh, discussion and, and fake news. Yeah, we haven't seen we, the, the hammer, or at least maybe maybe five-minute penalty box, TJ, the timeout. The Blue Jays, speaking of the Blue Jays and Jay Happ, they got to move Josh Donaldson too, right? They got to get something for him. They got to clear out that team and get ready for the new era of the Blue Jays. With uh, Bo Bichette and Vlad Guerrero Jr. And I think Roger Clemens kid is in that organization too. Still gotta get something for him. G Lo saying Josh Allen's been hurt too much lately. Isn't this the last year of his deal? Or didn't he, or maybe he only signed a one-year deal? Something like that. Got to gotta move him for something. All right, next box. Cody Bellinger, year in review out of 99. We got Yoan Mankata out of 149. And then we got Andrew Stevenson. Wasn't that the name of a, a U.S. Supreme Court justice? Andrew Stevenson or some other Stevenson? That's for the Nationals. That goes to Christian Williams. That one's not numbered, Christian. Dylan saying Bryce Harper to San Francisco in 2019. There's Josh Bell. That's just a refractor. That will ship, though. Bellinger refractor. And another Walker Bueller. Another Walker Bueller rated rookie. Maybe that's why he... He did injure his uh, his arm recently, didn't he? He signed, signed too many Donruss Optic cards. Come on, Panini. Nice one for the Dodgers, though. Future ace right here, Ricky Buffalo. There's Bryce Harper joining Andrew McCutcheon, Dylan. I don't think Andrew McCutcheon might not be. He was on the tail end of his career. Joined him for like a season, maybe. I wonder how much, uh, it'll be interesting to see how much, um, there's Nicky Dubs, 7 out of 50. I wonder how much Bryce Harper sort of tanked his value with kind of a rough season this year. Clemson likes Happ and Donaldson for Culberson and Mark Cake is in the Braves go after Harper, another outfielder in free agency. Um, hmm. Does that, does that make sense? Maybe. Jordan says Bryce Harper going to the Cubs. Maybe if they move that Jason Hayward contract, they'll they'll put on, they can sign Bryce Harper. That actually might not be a bad deal. I don't know what I don't know what kind of money Markakis is making or for how long. But maybe they they're gonna have to throw in like a Maybe a an upper tier kind of prospect to get Jay Happ, I think. I don't know about Donald. Donaldson probably makes more sense in the AL, right? Just at least D at least DH. Yeah, that was another uh, Walker Bueller. Landon saying Harper to Cubs old old news and bad news. He's not going there. Yeah, maybe. I don't know where Harper's going to go. Everyone's saying the Yankees. Oh, is Bryce Harper going to get traded? Uh, the Nationals are 48-48 and 48 going into the All-Star break. Five and a half games behind Philly uh, and five games behind Atlanta. You know, like, so do the, do the, do the Nationals actually think about trading Harper to get some kind of value for him at the end of July? I 
That could be interesting. I think Nick Marcakis is underrated. Sheila, I agree with you on that. Joe Flores saying, My cousin told me a while back that the Astros and Nats were looking to trade Bryce for Marwin, Marwin Gonzalez, Jake Marisnik, and Kyle Tucker. Never saw reports on it, actually, but I, but I wouldn't take that deal. What about you? I, I would not. I don't think the Astros are the... I don't think the Astros. I don't think the Astros need a Bryce Harper. They got to eventually have to pay a lot of guys on the team, so I don't think they're going to add Bryce Harper there. I personally wouldn't. All right, next one is Chris Flexen. That's an early auto. Chris Flexen his muscles for the New York Mets. Sanford with that one. There you go. I wouldn't be. I, I, if the Nationals have a cold start for the next week or two, I mean, if they're if they just play bad baseball for the next week or two, and they fall further behind, I could see I could see the Nationals pulling that trigger, making that move. Out of two ninety nine, Francisco Lindor for Kip and the Indians, and is that the next auto? It is. Nice, Reese Hoskins, rated rookie autograph. That goes to Sen Yin and the Phillies. Reese has a nice auto. 52 out of 60 on that one. So there's auto two. There's Kutch. That's out of 50, three out of 50. Miguel Sano. And we got Pete Rose looking back. Or Ichiro and Pete Rose. That's a randomizer. 12 out of 99. Most of these aren't. Gilo says, what, you think Nats pick it up in the second half? I mean, they've got the quality to. We'll set that right here so we can do the randomizer at the end. All right, so now a lot of people are saying that the uh, the two autograph hot boxes are, if you kind of flip the case upside down and pour them out, pour the boxes out, those two on the bottom right are the autograph hot boxes. So we've marked them just so we can keep track of that. Now we're still looking for one more parallel hot box. So out of these three right here, we should find another parallel hot box. Good luck, everybody. We're almost done, folks. We're making great time here. Joe says, Joe Flores says, I can see the Nationals waiting to trade him close to the deadline just to explore all options. They can get a good sum of players from the right team. I think so. And you know, if, they're, if they were serious about re-signing Bryce Harper, which I think they might be. I think that they're, they're one of the teams that are definitely willing to pay that kind of money. If that's the case, you could always tell Bryce, listen, man, we're going to trade you. <laughs> we're going to get some great pieces for you. This looks like the... Next parallel hot box. We're gonna get some great pieces for you to build around you. And then we're going to re-sign you. I could do that. Not too many teams though. Most a lot of teams priced out of the Machado Bryce Harper sweepstakes and free agency this year. And then other teams that could afford him, and there are a decent amount of teams that could actually afford him. A lot of teams could afford them, but do they want to? And do they have you know future plans that we'll see. It'll be interesting. I, th I, th I think the trading deadline... Some people are saying the trading deadline may be a little soft, but I can see some excitement. All right. Good luck, folks. We've got another parallel hot box here. There's Freddie Freeman to 199 We got Craig Nettles optic autographs for the Yankees. 
Is there any... Is that... Wasn't there a Gary Nettles back in the day? Well, there's Craig. There's nice Mike Trout out of 299. Brian Dozier, Diamond Kings out of 199. And Ryan McMahon, who has a nice autograph. Rated Rookie Auto for the Rocks. That's to David Shaw. Sorry, Dave. Dropping cards all over the place. There's Chris Bryant to 99. John Gray to 299 for the Rocks. Diamond Kings, Adam Jones. They got to move Adam Jones too, right? The Orioles. Freddie Freeman, Diamond Kings, 47 out of 50. Barry Larkin for the Red Legs out of 149. Nolan Arenado out of 299. Nolan Arenado out of 99. Walker Bueller Blue out of 149. Go Blue. Luis Gohara out of 299. Max Scherzer for the Nationals out of 149. Another Ryan McMahon out of 99. Red. Steven Strasburg. Out of 299. Corey's brother, Kyle, out of 149. There's Otani running. It's different. We'll set that one aside. Odubel Herrera, Diamond Kings, to 299. Tyler Wade for the Yankees, out of 199. Brendan Rogers, rated prospect card, 43 out of 99. Garrett Cole to 199, Chipper Jones, and Eric Hosmer. There you go. So that's our second and final parallel hot box. Gilo saying, I heard, I think the Indians want Adam Jones. You heard it somewhere. Or it might have been another team. Adam, Yeah, where does Adam Jones go? Wait, isn't, I think Michael Brantley is healthy. They might not need an Adam Jones. Unless you just like, maybe they like the locker room presence or whatever. Emily is saying, all this talk about Bryce Harper makes me nervous because people have me convinced that the Bravos will trade for him. Chills. I just don't like the thought of us trading great players on our team just for him. I would think Braves are pretty smart. I don't I don't think they would. You know what I mean? Because they're not going to give up too much value for a rental. Everyone knows that. Braves know that. Nationals know that. But see, for the Nationals, they may have to just take, if they're interested in trading him, they may just have to take kind of a lesser offer simply to try to get something for him before he leaves for free agency at the end of the season. All right, Gabe, Gabe saying he Googled it. O's and Indians were discussing an Adam Jones trade. That could be interesting. Add some, add some extra depth. All right, so we'll do these two boxes, and then we'll see if those are really the autograph hot boxes. We'll find out in a second. Wonder if the Marlins do anything? I don't think so. I can't see the Marlins do anything. I don't think they have any No, don't they they have maybe another guy that another sort of older guy that they could trade, right? They've got one more guy. Let me look at their uh, look at their depth chart. Oh, they got they got JT Real Muto. I think that's the next guy that could that could get traded for prospects. I could see them moving. I actually don't know what Starlin Castro's situation is, but they they could move Starlin Castro. They could move Justin Bohr. You know, a lot of the other guys are on the sort of younger side. I'm not, I'm not sure if Cameron Maben has too much trade value. Well, their closer, Kyle Baraclough. A lot, a lot of teams are looking for bullpen, right? Braves are looking for bullpen. Indians just addressed their bullpen issue. Astros are looking for bullpen. My Dodgers are looking for bullpen. So I think maybe Kyle Baraclough might be might be a guy that that really attracts a lot of teams. 
I think they're just going to go straight prospects. Tank for a couple years, get straight prospects, you know, add a couple big names in the draft. And then rebuild from there, just like just like the way the Cubs did it. Just like the way the Astros did it. Good luck, everybody. There's Nolan Ryan. Kip, what's going on, man? There's June Calhoun out of 149. Former Dodger prospect. We've got Tiago Vieira for the White Sox. That'll go to Brian Sawyer. He just really wanted to pop out here. There he is. There's that Granky, gold. 10 out of 10. That card is gold. That goes to Ricky Buffalo and the Diamondbacks. Nice. Oh, is June his Twitter handle? TJ saying June is his Twitter handle. Calhoun's. There's Brian Anderson. For the Marlins, speaking of the Marlins, that'll go to Casey. Look at this. And there's this might be the autograph hotbox. There's Roy Oswald. Optic autographs gold. Eight out of ten. And that is uh, Astros edition. That'll go to Adam Wilson. And there's Richard Urena. Toronto. Jeremy Tillman with the Blue Jays. This is the autograph hot box. So I guess that, that, that two autograph hotbox on that side theory, not true. <laughs> Kip and Orioles guy saying, just trade everyone. We don't care. Yeah, we could use a Zach Britton out here, Kip. How about we overpay for Zach Britton? People can use Adam Jones. There's J.D. Davis. Another Astro for Adam Wilson. Willie Calhoun I knew was a driller, TJ. I did not know that Oswalt was a driller, a Tulsa driller, when the AA team was part of the Rockies organization. I didn't realize that. There's Andrew McCutcheon, red to 99. Clemson Card saying uh, Braves will take Dylan Bundy. Yeah, Dylan Bundy's had a nice season this year. Kip's just saying take him. Our owner and our GM are useless. Yeah, they. I don't want to. I don't want to pile on, but. Or actually, let's just do this. Um. They should have moved Machado last year. I suppose, TJ or Kip, that is the the silver lining. I suppose is that you know there's a commitment from the team to not just move guys. <laughs> I think that's the silver lining. Maybe you know maybe they're like, hey, we're not giving up. We're gonna hold on to our stars. We're gonna pay Chris Davis. You know, so I don't know. It's. I think the sentiment is admirable, but the the actual execution of that maybe maybe not so good. Who did o Oswald did? He retired while he was with you guys. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know too much about the the sunset of Roy Oswalt's baseball career. All 
All right, third to last box. Good luck, everybody. Now, we've got more in the store, so check it out. Another full case break, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This stuff is really great. We've got, there. there's the Orioles future right here, Austin Hayes. Rated rookie autograph for Anthony Frank and the O's. Nice orange parallel to match the colors of the team. 30 out of 60. We got Tomas Nito. Rated rookie autograph. A Nito autograph. Nito for Sanford. No? Kip says trade him too. We got out of one. This is another autograph hot box. So the, the two boxes on the left side. There were two boxes on the left side, not on the bottom though, that were the autograph hot boxes. Rob C asking if anything's breaking after this. Well, I'm on air until eleven o'clock Pacific, so there better be something else breaking after this. We've got more baseball. We've got Alan Ginter. We've got Ultimate Collection Hockey. We have and a two ninety nine New Darvish. We have uh, Spectra Basketball. In case basketball, all sorts of things. Got soccer, flawless football from last year. Justice Sheffield rated prospect autograph for the Yankees. This is a guy that uh, they didn't want to move for someone, but I think maybe the Orioles had asked for Justice Sheffield and the Yankees said no. His brother Jordan is in the Dodgers organization. Dustin Pedroia, out of 25. That looked different. Nice border right there. So everyone, this break is almost over. We're just a couple boxes away. So jazbeeshobbyland.com. I see 13 orders coming in already. So I'll go through those. That's Laser Show goes to EA. I'll go through all the orders once this break is over and once I put this break away. And we'll kind of see what direction we're going in. But my advice, ladies and gentlemen, just go. Just start buying spots and see what happens. Significant signatures, Alan Trammell out of 50. Finally in the hall, right, Tigers? That goes to Robert Rohr. Well-deserved. This is a case of, uh, I think, advanced statistics, advanced sabermetrics really helped turn people's opinions around on, on Alan Trammell. There's Reese Hoskins out of 299. Will Longoria says the Yanks should trade Sheffield. All right, that Reese will go to the Phillies. Sen Yin, Yu Darvish for the Cubs will go to Scott McNulty to 299. All right, so these were not the autograph hot boxes, but still two autographs each in there. Might see some nice stuff. Rob C. says, uh, what's a good team to get beside a Yankees and Angels? Someone uh, let Rob C. know. That a, lot of, a lot of solid teams here. Braves would be a good one if they're still available. You're welcome, Robert. I mean, you, as you saw, even the Tigers can get that Alan Trammell hit, so there's old school guys in there too. Gilo says, I really want Spectre Basketball, but i got to pace myself for the next paycheck. No, it's all good. Always pace yourself, folks. Listen, we, we broadcast 3 o'clock Pacific to 11 o'clock Pacific, Tuesday through Saturday, 52 weeks a year. Um, so we've got plenty of time for breaks. No need to, over, no need to overdo it. We, always, we want, we want to be, be opening cases up for you guys for years, not just for, not just for days. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. And a couple quick randomizers, and then we will. I'll put this break away. We'll come back. We'll go through some orders and see what we got. And we'll see what the next break will be. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. 
Paul Molitor, one of one autograph. Kip just finished saying if you hit a one of one, they're all good teams. Right? Like this, Brewers. Robert Throne will the with the Milwaukee Brewers getting the Paul Molitor significant signatures. All aboard! Whoop whoop! Nice, see, just like that. See, easy. <laughs> Hitting one on one's easy. It's not, but it's nice. There's Ahmed Rosario out of 199 for the Mets. Yeah, actually, you're right, Kip. Two cases, two one of ones. We had a one of one in, in uh, Pick Your Team 1. This is only Pick Your Team 2. Well, fill up Pick Your Team 3, ladies and gentlemen. See if I can go three for three on one of ones. Three in a row. Out of 99, Buster Posey for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. There's Arcia. That Chris, that Chris Archer is a little different right there. Yeah, that's out of 25. Six out of 25. Nice one for the Rays. Goes to EA and the Rays. Yeah, Gabe's right. Um, every team in Optic has a decent auto, except maybe the Marlins, but that's why the Marlins are priced really low. There's Luis Gohara. So it all, it all kind of balances out value-wise. Really, it's just a matter of how much you're willing to spend, what you're willing to risk. Rob and every and everybody, that goes to the Bravos. That goes to Jeremy Tillman. I like that Kutch refractor. We'll set. We'll sleeve that up too. All right. Uh, TJ saying that the next optic is down to nine already. Already in single digits. All right. Maybe it'll be an optic baseball day. Get stuff like that. I still haven't posted the picture of the one of one Bellinger we got yesterday. Just haven't had time. And those will be the randomizers. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting into the action. We've got plenty of stuff on the website, folks. Jaspies Hobbyland.com. Almost too much stuff. But that's always a good thing. Don't worry about what other people are getting into or what other people want to do next. Just buy your spots, and eventually, it'll all break. So do what you want to do. Do You do you, ladies and gentlemen. You do you. You know, if it doesn't seem like Spectra Basketball is moving, just buy some spots. That might help it move along. That could be the spark that helps move things along. Any of these new releases will probably go off in the next, either tonight or tomorrow. So so any of the new releases, don't worry about when it's going to break. Just get into it and it'll, it'll happen. Yeah, we should do some Ginter as well. we got plenty of baseball, folks. We got, um, we've got six box pick your teams for Allen and Ginter, and we've got four box random teams for Allen and Ginter. One spot gets you two teams on that one. Got plenty more Optic Baseball full case picture teams. Can do those. A lot of big hits that we're pulling already and all the breaks. Don't forget about Spectra Basketball. That's a brand new release. A lot of great hits out of there as well. Pulled some nice stuff there last night. I feel like the, I feel like there's a little there's a, some more on card autos more than usual in that basketball, that Spectra Basketball break. So check that out. And uh, I know a big team got taken in encased basketball. That just came out a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago. So big teams were taken there, so check that out too. Got plenty. Brand new hockey, all sorts of things, ladies and gentlemen. I'm down for, I'm down for everything. So let's do it. There's Rhino. And we got Gold Chris Sale. Fastest. Oh, really? It's a lot. It's out of 10. That card is gold. EA, Red Sox with that one. Chris Sale, year in review. It's a lot of strikeouts. It's 
Scott Kingery, rated rookie refractor. Mike Trout refractor. There's Mike Trout red. That's numbered. Diamond Kings red on 99. And where are the autos? There's Corey's brother Kyle. There's Dustin Fowler blue. There's Adrian Beltre. And there's Chance Cisco. Where's the other autograph? That goes to the Orioles. Anthony Frank on that one. Did I miss it? It's impossible. Well, that was a, that's a below average box, ladies and gentlemen. Two autographs on average. That one is below average. Sorry, guys. I feel like this happens every once in a while, but that's why they put on average there. But yeah, the, the super factor must count as two. All right, folks. Well, there you go. The Chance Disco and then the gold Chris Sale in that box plus these parallels. And now the randomizer for those last two. Let's fire up random.org. Let's go back here. Let's get some dice. Let's get two blank lists. One dice roll for both lists. The looking back to 99 was uh, Mariner's version of Ichiro and then Pete Rose, Cincinnati edition. And then everyone gets a shot at the points. Ricky down to Christian and everyone in between. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Four and a one. Five times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. And a one, five times. And that'll go to the Reds. That'll be for Ricky Buffalo and the Red Legs. You'll be getting this looking back card here. And then for the points, five times, four and a one, one, one. There's one, two, three. Come on, random.org. You can do it. There, three, I lost count. Four and a one, yeah. Four and a one, five times. Name on top. After five times will be Ricky Buffalo. There you go, Ricky, winning both randomizers. 250 points coming your way. And there you have it, folks, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.